So hello Kai, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, really good. Now I appreciate you coming on. So Kai is, let me get it right, a female tradies coach. Yes. So um, yeah. I reached out to you and said we've got um, a guy helping out um, with regards to fitness and nutrition, but it's, I guess, predominantly for men. And uh, a few of the lady wizardesses, as they call them in my group, <laughs> uh, we're looking for for sort of shouting out saying, well, what about us females, you know? Um, yeah. Can you help us out? And yeah, I saw you on Instagram and I'm really pleased I did. And uh, yeah, do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, for sure. So um, I'm Kai. I worked in the trades for four and a half years as a Sparky. Um, I was a bit of a late starter to it. And I still dabble in it now and then. Um, I do really enjoy it. But I also qualified as a personal trainer before I qualified as a Sparky. Um, and I work with predominantly women. And then I found that working in the trades as a female anyway, you're in like a bit of a, a smaller group. Um, so I kind of honed in on that and focused on that. Um, and like my main goal with it is to help women like in any goal they have, whether it's lose weight, um, get stronger, build their confidence. Um, because I think especially like being a female in the trade anyway, going onto site with like a load of men can be a little bit intimidating. Um, so that's my main goal in it. And just to help them feel better in themselves and learn how to navigate their way through like working on the job and like the foods they should be eating and how to get more energy and things like that. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> I mean, it's something, you know, I've been painting for 20 years and I'd have fits and starts where I might prepare some food or do a sandwich um, mm. but I don't feel I've ever really prepared myself properly in the sense of, you know, getting all the nutrition I need for, for working a long day mm. or five hour day. Um, <laughs> but you know, it's like, I don't believe there's enough in, yes, you can sort of research or whatever, but it's good that you're specifically, um, doing it for trades, um, ladies, because you, you do need a lot of energy, you know, depending on what you're doing, um, and it's, it's great that you're doing it. Yeah, I think there's like so much conflicting information on the internet as well um, over like how much you should be eating and what you should be eating. And like I've got a lot of friends who are like, oh, well, women only need like 2000 calories a day. But it's different for everybody. And this is what people don't realize. Um, and then as well, I think if you're somebody who can kind of eat whatever they want, you'll be out on the job and you'll be like, oh, well, I can get a Greg's, I can get a Mackey's or whatever. Um but everything has like a knock on effect with everything in life. So like you might be able to keep your weight down, but you're not going to have the energy levels that you could have if you were choosing like different foods. And a lot of it's about time management. So everyone's like, Oh, well, I don't have time. I'm like tired after working on the job. Like if you start working out, you're going to be more energized and you're going to feel better in the job and out the job. Um, and then it's like learning how to plan your food, like prep your food. So it's done for like days in advance. Like when those days come, you don't have to think about it. Like we take the path of least resistance. So mm. it's just about making it as easy as possible for ourselves in order to get to where we want to be. Yeah. And that makes sense. And it's like it, every habit, once you get into it, you form habits and you're going to feel better for it because, <clears throat> you know, even now I, I like a couple of coffees on the morning, but you d I feel I do get that slump with it, you know, mm. and um, especially if I'm not perhaps drinking enough water, um, yeah. you know I know we're not going to go into specifics today but it's you know definitely an area I used to do early morning fitness and mm. it was running around a rugby field and flipping tractor tires and stuff like that so I've done that six till seven and come yeah. away and felt brilliant and then I'd go to Wensills and get a, a you know like a sausage bap and coffee or whatever yeah. <laughs> and then wondering why I'm slumping in the afternoon you know <laughs> Um, yeah. so I got the fitness right for a couple of years I did it and I felt absolutely brilliant got in good shape but I don't feel my nutrition was um, matched in terms of giving me the energy I needed to, to continue so it makes sense you've got to do both haven't you yeah that's it and like you can still eat foods that you like eating as well it's just learning how to work around it and how to eat around it mm. yeah good stuff so most of your clients do they tend to is it a mix? Do they do a workout before they go to work or is it after? Um, it's completely dependent on the person, completely dependent on their shifts. Like I've got some who get up super early and they'll go to the gym before they go to work. I've got some who will finish a shift and have like their gym stuff with them um, and then go to the gym on the way home from work. 
And then I've just got some who fit it in whenever they can. Mm. And what's good as well, the fact that you um, were a sparky. I mean, us decorators, we're not keen on you guys, you know. Uh, <laughs> I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> plenty of jokes. You just, you know, whack up and bash a hole in the wall and hit your <laughs> base plate in or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But... Um, but no, I mean, I'm sure they were warm to you if uh, you are helping us out. I hope so. <laughs> um, but no, that's brilliant. So I guess you do a combination of like one-to-ones and do you do any group stuff at the moment or is that something? Um, I don't at the moment, but I am looking into doing it. So all my clients at the minute are specifically one-to-one. Um, yeah. But I have been looking into doing group coaching where it's more kind of like baseline stuff. And it just gives them like, it's like a little taster into my one-to-one. Yeah. And what's the sort of feedback you're getting from your clients? Obviously, they're not going to say it's terrible. Um, but no, are they are they just sort of, is it almost like until you do it, you can't believe how you feel? Yeah, I think so. I think a lot of people, when they start, they think it's a lot of work and that. But we, I work, I focus mainly on building up habits um, because I don't do meal plans because if I think if you have a meal plan, you can follow that meal plan and then once that meal plan ends like you've not changed any of your habits you've literally just followed a plan and you'll go back to eating like how you did before or go back to doing how you did before so I work on like a lot around lifestyle and the habits that lead up to this so they can like stick with it um but I think once they get into it and once they realize like they don't have to be perfect like it's all about focusing on what you can do rather than what you can't because like if people get call outs or something and it's going to like put a spanner in the work to their routine there's not a lot you can do about it and then because they're women as well a lot of them have kids so that comes into it and you just can't move around life sometimes so I put a big focus on like imperfect action and it's about focusing on what you can do rather than not um because I find a lot of women have an all or nothing mindset um I don't think it's just women I think some men have it as well but they think if they can't do everything they might as well not do anything um Mm. whereas it's the small things that you have to do daily so it's like whatever job you have in order to finish a job you've got like a set of jobs that you've got to do in order to get that job finished um and you're not just going to give up because you couldn't do something you find a way around it um so that's how I kind of put the focus on yeah that makes sense doesn't it because like it's like diets you know people go on a diet lose their weight and then they don't continue it and then they wonder why they put weight back on and stuff yeah that's it so it's it's um... about the end goal for me is if their goal is weight loss, yes, losing the weight, but then the end goal is keeping that weight off and not putting it back on after. Yeah. No, brilliant. Well, I'm really looking forward to chatting with you more. Um, I know you're going to provide a couple of resources and stuff, so that's going to be great, which I'm going to share with my membership. So, um, no, it's brilliant. And, you know, like I said, with uh, my group, we're all painters and decorators, but, you know, I place a big emphasis on mental well-being I have a background in cognitive hypnotherapy um but what I don't cover is the physical and nutrition side which as we all know is essential um to do to work on all of it um so it's a big part for for me to to help my painters um and yeah I'm just so pleased you're you're jumping on thank you thank you for finding me and asking me no you're welcome well you stood out on Instagram so uh thank you 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 need to teach me how to use Instagram next (laughs) But um, no, I appreciate it. I'm going to stop recording. We'll have a quick chat after, but um, cheers for your time. No worries. Thank you.